yo, yo, I'm back. Anyways, um, the Clippers are a big 114 to 104. Uh, with two minutes and some change left to go. Uh, Porzingis, 39 points, 14 assists, 20, uh, 14 out of 26. Morris with the three misses, Porzingis with the rebound. And uh, uh, Luka Dantage is going to drive it up the court. He drives, he stands back, pulls. And it's good. 107 to 114. And this game is not over yet. Kawhi Leonard with the... No, actually, that's Paul George. Paul George passes it to uh, Jackson. Jackson passes it to Kawhi. Kawhi passes it back to Jackson. Jessica has say, and he gets it. He drills that. Jackson is feeling it tonight, boy. And this game might be over. This game is over. What the hell? <laughs> um, Luka Doncic spins on Kawhi. Luka Doncic drives on Kawhi. He pulls up. No good. Great defense by Kawhi. Tell you, boy, if Michael Jordan had a son... I don't even think he, I think he does have a son. I'm not pretty sure. And Morris with a three. And bingo was his name. Oh, like I said, Clippers and six. Clippers and six. It's over. It's over. Y'all thought that the Mavericks was going to win? What's wrong with y'all, huh? See, see, this is what happens when y'all listen to the media too much. Cause I be listening to the, I, I be looking at the polls too. You know when they say who, who, who y'all got. Fifty-seven percent said the Mavericks. Forty-one percent said the Clippers. I already knew the Mavericks was not gonna win. I've been telling y'all for the past three days now they was not gonna win. But you know what? It is what it is. You know y'all gonna continue to doubt. Y'all gonna continue to doubt the Clippers. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, my, team is, my team is long gone, obviously, as you could tell, you know. Uh, we only won one game against the Hawks. But it wasn't really our fault because, you know, it's our first game. You know what I'm saying? For everybody to be on. Well, well not for everybody, but for the newcomers, you know. But, um, you know, uh, the Clippers had to win this game. So there is no ifs, ands, or buts. You know, just not now, just not now, Luca. Pretty, pretty soon your time will come. You just not now. Dude's only twenty two years old. So, man down. It's okay, Luca. Don't feel, don't feel some type of way. It's a learning process. So it's one hundred nine to one twenty. And they will foul. Oh no, it's a timeout. My bad. One oh seven. So I mean, one oh six left to go. One oh nine to one twenty. So yeah, man. Um, I mean, it would have been, it would have been cast. It would have been crazy if both LA teams were eliminated, right? Like, who would stop the Brooklyn Nets, in your opinion? Now, the Clippers and the Nets would have probably been a great series, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't know. You know, it's a little bit, I'm a little bit back and forth. You know, like, part of me, want the, uh, part of me wants the Bucks to come out. Part of me wants the 76ers to come out. But... You know, we'll see how the series go. Um, we'll see how the series go. Because if the Bucks, if the Bucks win Monday, then they go home one to one, and then they can make it a a three a, a three to one lead. You know what I'm saying? They can win both of their games at home and make it a three to one lead. 
So, let's see, one, two. Yeah, they can make it a three to one lead. And then obviously they could close it in, you know, Brooklyn's hometown, you know, Barclays Center. So, we'll see though. We'll see. We'll see. Now, the Jazz, uh, I mean, the Jazz are a, a very good opponent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're pretty much, they're pretty good in their own right, you know? Um, but no disrespect to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, you know, the Dallas Mavericks, you know, they should hang head, they should hang their hat, they should hang their hat high, you know? Uh, you know, they got far as they, you know, could, you know? But, you know, it was, it just wasn't meant to be. You know, like if I was the Dallas Mavericks, I would have, tra I would trade Luca, not Luca. I would, I would trade KP. I would trade him. He has done nothing, even though he has 14 points. But I mean, his effectiveness is just not there. You know, like what he, like what Porzingis gave to the Knicks, he's not doing it in in, in Dallas. You know, his rookie year. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, and that dude can shoot, you know. I mean, that's the downfall. You know, Luca's been Luca was hot in the first quarter. Second quarter, he just disappeared, you know. And that's what happens when just one player is dominating the whole entire game, not getting everybody involved. Well, I'm not saying that he hasn't got any anybody involved. I thought that was a backcourt violation by uh, by uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, yeah, that is backcourt. I did not know. I don't know why the refs didn't call that. Kawhi Leonard was backcourt. Foul. Oh, that's close to tell. Ah, look how his ah lie. Like every time I see their players bend their knees like bend their ankles like that, that shit hurts. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. So Reggie Jackson at the line and he drills one free throw. So that's 121 to 109. One twenty two to one oh nine. It's crazy how this series started, right? Mavericks took the first two games at Staples Center and uh but anyways, uh Luca with a quick drive to the basket. So it's one eleven to one twenty two. With forty one point two seconds left remaining. Kawhi has been a beast. You know, like sometimes I think he he he, he enchants. Sometimes I think he 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 gets his he, he gets his playing time from uh from MJ. You know, like he's like a hybrid of MJ and and and, and, and Pippen. You know, like he's not a vocal leader, but he lets his play do the talking. You know, just like MJ. MJ wasn't really a vocal leader, you know, as, you know, an Aquarius, I can tell from experience because I don't necessarily say, I don't necessarily say that much, you know, I just let my game do the talking, you know, I'm not, you know, LeBron James or Draymond Green who just talks out that, you know, donkey's butt, you know, but I just let my play do the talking, you know, and that's what, and, that, and that's what Kawhi is, you know, the, the media, the media pans, the media tries to turn Kawhi Leonard into like a, 
a corporate puppet. You know? Like, oh, he's supposed to say this. Oh, why he's not quiet. Oh, why he's not saying stuff. Oh, when you see LeBron James stuff. LeBron James just need to shut the hell up sometimes. You know? Like, I don't even agree with half of the shit like LeBron James said. LeBron James, Draymond Green, they just need to shut the F up. Because sometimes... It just it, it just irks me to, to, to hear them talk. They talk about absolutely nothing. And it makes zero sense. Because when you have nothing to say, don't say nothing. Because when you don't say nothing, how are they going to ridicule you? How are they going to say, oh, you this, you that? But when you give them a reason to talk, that's why, you know? But, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, um... Oh, man. Um, this Jazz Clippers series is probably going to go down the wire. Um, yeah, the Jazz get their first. Oh, my God. PG-13. PG-13. Everybody call him PG-13, man. I never gave faith. I never believed. I actually not not believe. I never gave up hope for PG. Look at that. Stealing from Porzingis, slow as hell. That should have been a flagrant. Now I'm just playing. I mean, Porzingis just got slow reflexes. Let me see. I mean, he should have held them too, but anyways. But yeah, man, uh, shout out to the Clippers, man. Everybody who doubted them, except for me, because I've been paying, I've been saying Clippers in six since this whole series started. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I'm still going to ride with them, you know what I'm saying, until the wheels fall off, you know? I mean, the Clippers are a team that will probably give you a heart attack sometimes, man. Just the way that the series started, you know, them losing two games at home and, you know, the Mavericks winning a game at home and they, they had a chance to close it, but, you know, they didn't. And, you know, I mean, it, it was just up and down, you know. But what, that's what you expect from a seven-game series, you know. Like, you're not going to know what to expect, you know. Expect the unexpected, you know. So, that's just what it is. Paul George played pretty well. Ten, uh, six rebounds, 10 assists, 5 for 15, and 20 points. You know, PG-13 is finally stepping up, or he's finally stepping up, or he's going to step up. He's been playing pretty well as the series went to go on, you know. Like, I really hope that they, w they win the championship, man, so they can stop bothering PG. PG is a pretty good player, man. I've been following him since his Pacers days, you know. He just didn't have enough playoff success. You know, it's just been first round exits for him, that's why. But Kawhi Leonard is just not human at all. <laughs> that dude is just unconscious sometimes. But, you know, I mean, job well done by the Clippers. Uh, now, I mean, I don't even think he could get any rest because I think they play uh, Tuesday. So, um,. You know, just great effort by them, you know, just great effort. And great, great effort by the Dallas Mavericks, too, you know. Um, you know, they gave the Clippers a run for the money, but at the, uh, at the end of the day, you know, the better team won, you know. So now, you know, the Clippers will get some rest. The Mavericks will do whatever they got to do in the offseason to get better. And both of these teams will come back. And, you know, be better next year. Or the Mavericks will come back next year and be better, you know. So, it's a win-win situation. You know, nobody loses, you know. You have to lose to, in order to win in life, you know. 
So it is what it is. Final score, 111 to 126. Mavericks win. They move on. And the uh, Dallas Mavericks uh, season will end. Um, trade KP. Trade KP. Uh, you know, I, I think... I, I, obviously, this is Luka's team. You know? Um, you can clearly see Luka and KP do not get along. At all. The chemistry is just not there. You know? <laughs> Paul George saying, you know what, man? You could, man. We, should, we could use you on a team like this, man. We could use you on a team like this, man. You, you ain't going to never win here. You might as well get your goofy ass on here. Oh, little do Marcus Cousins. Marcus Cousins think he's going to get a free ring. <laughs> now I'm just playing. Marcus Cousins has been that guy, though. See, all love at the end, man. All love at the end. You know? It's just a better team, you know? Clippers are just a better team. Even though Clippers give me a damn heart attack sometimes. Like, they are no... Like, they know the Clippers are pretty good. I know the Clippers are good. But they just don't play like it sometimes. But when they need a step on the gas, boy, they, they are a different team, man. They are a different team. And look at Bomber, Steve Bomber. Boy, how come the Knicks owner can't be like that, dog? <laughs> Bomber is just one hell of a dude. That's why we love basketball. You never know. Expect the unexpected. The Clippers never want to win easy, man. It's always the hard way. <laughs> Look at Kawhi. Why oh, nigga would joke his ass on, the, uh, on that voiceover? But Kawhi Leonard, man, that dude is just something special. Nick, Kawhi, come to the Knicks, man. Come to the Knicks. Come on, come on. After this, after you win the championship, come to the Knicks. You don't got to go to Milwaukee. You don't got to go to the Heat. You don't got to go to the Golden State Warriors. Come to the Knicks. We already got great paces around us. We got Randall. We got RJ. We got D-Rose. Just come to the Knicks, please. 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 Do something that LeBron James couldn't do. His, his, his monkey ass couldn't do. But, you know, it is what it is, man. And shout out to the Clippers. Shout out to everybody on the staff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I mean, the Mavericks didn't give Luka any help. You know, um, it, I mean, the way that, you know, they were playing in game one and two, they should have put that play, they should have put that same intensity here tonight. But they didn't, you know? And Kawhi Leonard just went beast mode like Marshawn Lynch. Look at him clapping. <laughs> that dude is just, his hands are freakishly big. Like, look at my hands compared to. Like, look at that. We, we should be twins. His hands are freakishly tall. Long, I should say. But anyways, man, that's it. That's all. Uh, that's all I have to say, man. Clippers and six. And I'm not talking about championships. No, I'm just playing. I am talking about championships. But like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Uh, I will put the video in the description box down below. Shout out to Sports Theory as well.